TV, Urban Legends ENT, Carolina. We in the building. How you get the name K Bird? Well, I mean K Bird. That was like a you know, it's a long story. That name, you know what I mean. Everybody used to call me Bird growing up as a kid, cause my last name Thunderbird, but everybody used to call me Thunderbird. You know what I mean. So they used to, they cut it short and it's been like Bird. And then I found out like my dad. They used to call him the same thing, like T-Bird, because he had a Thunderbird car and shit. So, I mean, you know, that's where I got the bird from. And then I put the K in front of it, because, like, when I started rapping, I've been feeling like a like a king and shit. So, I put the king for the king and then showed it up, K-Bird. True, true. Man. So, how long you been in this music game, man? Man, I've been probably doing music since I was, like, 15, but seriously, like, recording, and everything like that. Probably been like something nineteen twenty. 19, you know 20. what I mean? Get into the game. You remember the first song you ever made? Damn. I think the first song I ever made was a song called SC State of Mind. Yeah, it was like like I was influenced by like Nas and shit at the time. Cause he was popping at that time, like when I was young. And he had a New York State of Mind. And I was like, yo, I want to do something for the Carolina with that vibe, talking about all type of shit. So, that's the state of mind. That's what's up. What inspired you to make this music, man? Uh, I mean, that shit like my passion. That shit like, that shit come from the heart, man. It's just like, the music like a different emotion, a different thought. Whatever that vibe was I was feeling that day, that 10 minutes, 20 minutes, hour. Whatever, you know what I mean? That shit just in me, you know what I mean? I just got to do it. It ain't like trying to be a rapper. It's just like, man, I just damn saying my story and shit, whatever I feel. I feel you. So let, let, let the fans know where you from, bro. Shit, I'm from damn Sandy Island. But that's the town in Carolina, you know what I mean? I'm a, I represent the whole South Carolina, but I was damn born, you know, in Georgetown, raised in Sandy Island, you know what I mean? Then I grew up, moved to Pauley's Island, lived in Pauley's Island, lived all over the Carolina. Pauley's Island, Myrtle's Island, Saga City, Myrtle Beach. I ain't never lived in Conway, but I fuck with Conway too, you know what I mean? Charleston, anyway, man. So what you, uh, what's your thought on the, the state of rap in SC right now? Right now? Yeah. From what I'm seeing, man, I think SC got a lot of talent, a lot of, it's like so many different variations of rap and that see you got like niggas that can talk to trap rap, niggas that can spit bars, hip hop, you got the OG rap, you know what I mean? You got the you got the straight talking about hustling rap, you know what I mean? It's a lot of different ranges and different ages. Yeah. I see older cats, younger cats, and all of them got mad talent, I mean, it's just that a lot of them gotta figure out different ways to Put yourself out there to separate yourself so you can kind of see who that person is and not just have them sounding like somebody else or sounding like you know a style you hit at you know what i mean really connect with that person true true true, true. Oh, man. i feel you so on a daily ride with k bird through the cities of sc what's you playing in your deck man what's you bumping through your speakers on your ride Shit. well right now i'm bumping that money man yo I'm fucking with that money, man, right now, all oh, that shit going in. I'm bumping that damn, I'm bumping some Kodak, bumping some damn future, of course, you know what I mean? Not the Percocet and Molly's future, but the real future type shit. Yeah. A little bit of Amigos, you know what I mean? And I mean, I fuck with everybody's shit, you know what I mean? Even them niggas, like, I might don't agree with the shit they on, them wearing them purses and all that dressing, yeah, yeah. different shit. But I be fucking with like all their music, like Little Uzi Vert. I fuck with some of his music. He got some hits. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, Ace Boogie with the hoodie. He like a new, new nigga. He. It's he, definitely like 
I see it as like in the club music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It ain't something you might just ride to on a yeah. day to day basis, but if you in the club with a couple of drinks and you in a blunt or two, Definitely. it's gonna sound good regardless because <laughs> the beat is hitting, you know what I'm saying? True, so it really is it, really irrelevant, but I feel you though. True. So, like, looking at Atlanta, all like these surrounding states with a music game, real tight knit in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got cash bubbling coming up. It seemed like, from what I see, like, say a cat in South Florida hit the scene, immediately, like, the, the record labels are, are whoever's watching, looking at every rapper in that area. True. Like, what you think Carolina need to get to that point to where, like, the eyes are on us, you know? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh. I think, but the main thing is, like, we got to make sure that everybody from Carolina that's doing something, like, they got to support each other. Yeah. For one, like, you know, everybody got to support each other. And I mean, like, all these DJs, like, local DJs, I mean, I ain't trying to call no local DJs out or nothing like that, but they don't really respect the SC music. And in those other states, like Florida and Georgia, the DJs respect the music coming from that state, that region. Yeah. And that's one of the that's one of the problems why like the music don't have like a sound. Like you go to Florida, you jump in the rail station, you turn on some shit, you might hear somebody you never heard of yeah. around this area. Or you go to Atlanta, you might hear somebody that on hot in Atlanta, but then by the year two, you hear about them in Carolina. Yeah, yeah. See, Carolina need to do the same kind of thing, and that mean like all them top dogs, the the, the niggas holding the keys yeah. to certain doors that get heard. Like they got a damn. They got to open up and get Carolina artists that look. True. I mean, that that's one one of the main, like, things on the national level, like, local support. Like, yeah, yeah. That, that would change a lot. That one thing would change a lot. And then the other thing is, like, artists got to really put that shit out there. Like, you know what I mean? Hit all them big sites, like the World Star, the Spinderella. Yeah, yeah. They got to hit them shits. You know what I mean? But I understand, like, some artists probably don't do it because they ain't going to see the success they probably want right when they start doing it. But that come back to what I was saying well, with the DJs, like the DJs and other local outlets got to give them that burn if they ain't getting that big burn at major spots. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And that's, that's, that's the truth. You know what I mean? You can't even, <laughs> you can't even deny it. You know what I mean? It's talent here though. A lot of people got, the music, I mean, yeah, that could damn, and that 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 rose me into my next question or right, statement. That recently, you just you just dropped the track with with Project Pat, true, you know. True. How that feel? I mean, Pat is a legend, you know. what I'm saying in the beat, they even have Pat on the song. It's like Jesus is coming back to earth, you know. what I mean, forever, right? you feel me? <laughs> like, Pat, Pat, a legend, man. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, that like. I, I never thought that would have happened. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, it just, that shit just happened. It was like a wave and it, it rolled into a good place, but that's what's up. What, what I can say about that, man, that been a good experience, like for a person that's like come from the Carolina, knowing like Carolina artists don't usually get that look or get yeah. that help from another artist that's out there, for yeah. him to be like, yo, you got some talent, yo, I'm fucking with your music, you know what I mean? I'm gonna help you. I'll help you with this right here, I'll help you, you know what I mean? Word. They ain't like him signing me a check or giving me a deal. Yeah. But he like, yo, I'm gonna stand my hand to help you get your foot in the business a little bit. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. You know what I mean? And I that's respect. That. Yeah, that's 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 total respect. That's big. So when you heard just someone the the first time that song played back with Pat on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Completed and done. <laughs> what was that feeling like? I mean Oh man, I was like, damn. I mean, I was like, damn. I really got this shit with Pat. Yeah. I say, damn. I say, man. I say, I'm always listening to the Chicken Heads and bumping all his real shit that he started like the project, project Pat. And I yeah, said, yeah. and nigga got street credibility, and he from Memphis. And I say, man, damn. I say, I got this nigga get on a song with me. Yeah. And he say, man, I like your style. I won't get on your song. And I was like, damn. That's even that, 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 that was an accomplishment, man. Yeah, that's even better. You know what I mean? Wow, that was major wow. to me. You know what I mean? Damn. So, K Bird, the next, I wouldn't even say five years because see, you got a song with Pat. We got to go like next <laughs> six months or something like that. <laughs> in, the next, in the next year, we, 
Where you see Key Barrett at in this in this music game, man? Man, I see myself then like reaching half of the pinnacle, not the pinnacle, but putting this like not just putting me on the map, putting my Urban Legends and T on the map, but putting like Carolina in respect. You know what I mean? Nah. Representing us, like when I get out there, when I be mingling with Pat, and you know what I mean, he he helped me be around the artists and stuff like that. I did a couple of shows with him and whatever. Yeah. And he he gave me that respect. Like he they treat me the same way like they treat a regular artist. They ain't been trying to be all bougie or nothing with me. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. Like I'm gonna keep that Carolina integrity. I don't get out there and do no silly shit. I'm gonna make the shit that you know is real, like the us. And then like I'm gonna come back and get a look. I ain't gonna just go out there just to make it for me. As yeah. soon as I get in position, I'll be like, I probably ain't gonna be able to hand you a check, but I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna hand you this opportunity yeah. to get yeah. in front of these people too. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and you run with it, use your name and keep on running with it just like what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's what I'm gonna do with it. You know what I mean? I, I definitely can, I, I can see that happening. I ain't gonna say I, I hope it happen. I, I know that we gonna have it happen. Why, why, why? So we, we got any upcoming projects or any new projects that you're pushing right now? True, true. I got a new mixtape coming out like in a month called Two Kings with Project Pat and me. You know what I mean? It's like a collaboration mixtape, you know what I mean? Album, if you call it. You know what I mean? We got production on there from YK, 808 Mafia. We got production on there from Bronson Beats. This is a producer in Colorado and shit. He doing shit in Cali like for Famous Dex and shit. And we got we got one track from Metro on there. And we got a couple of the features from like local artists around the Carolina that put up, you know, give us a beat or whatever, put onto the album. Wow. And we got some features on there. We got Dan, we got Dolph on one track. I mean, we pushing that single right now. Yeah. The joint called I Got Strong. That's produced by YK too. Wow. You know what I mean? That, that joint right there banging. That's a, if you ain't heard that yet, that I Got Strong, that's on YouTube or Audio Mac, any of them outlets. Right. And then we got a uh, big, well, not, 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 um, who I about to say on that mixtape. We got Dolph on there. We got Jumpman on there. We got Space Invader BD on there. And who else we got on them? Uh, who else we got? I got a Ross on there too. Yeah, we got Ross. And Pat had a song with Ross. He had called Rubber Band Business. We're going to remix that joint. We're going to put that back out on the mixtape. You know what I mean? That mixtape gonna be coming in about a month on Spinnerella, iTunes, Dad Piff, you know what I mean? All the mixtape sites and everything like that. That's the one project we got coming out. And then we dropping, we got the single dropping this month right here on Spinnerella called Addicted. And that's featuring Jumpman. And he he from Burgess and Merrill's and Lett. We're really from Lawrence, but he, he with Allegiance. And they, they like a little independent label working out of Burgess and Saga C. He one of their artists, and he on the single. You know what I mean? Giving him that look. He a good, good Carolina artist. He he new to the yeah. game, but I know people going. They gonna hit him. He he's supposed to be blessing the screens at DME TV real <laughs> soon. So jump man, holla at your boy. <laughs> yeah, jump man, yeah man. For yeah, real, jump man. Yeah. We go way back. <laughs> you real one. Back. Yeah, you real one. Man, <laughs> you know what I mean? And that, that joint dropping, you know what I mean? And, and it produced by Bronson. Bronson Beats on that one, the dude from Colorado. You know what so I mean? So, goddamn, why? Uh, let these people know how they can get in contact with you, man, to book them shows, features, whatever. Just to contact you on social media, whatever. Let them know. Well, shit, man. If you're trying to book me anything, hit me up on the email, urbanlegends2007 at yahoo.com, or hit me on the gram, urbanlegendsent. K Burr, you know what I mean? You can send me a message on the gram, I'll get back to you in the feature, anything like that for a show, anything for video, or anything you need me to help you with, any advice, any shit like that, you know, I got you. And then I'm on the Facebook, as you know what I mean, Urban Legends ENT, got the Twitter, Urban Legends 101, and on the Snapchat, follow me though, follow me on the Snapchat, the real K Burr. Cause I want y'all just to see like, you know what I mean? Not just listen to the music, but take in who I really is, you know what I mean? Who the person I am, you know what yeah. I mean? So follow me on the snap. If you're trying to get me on the show, hit me on the gram, hit me on the email. And we got some shows coming up. We were Pat, Pat and um, Juicy J about to do a tour for this new project that Juicy J got out. 
You know what I mean? The tour gonna be at the end of the summer. So hopefully, I mean, I'm probably gonna be on like the Virginia, Carolina, the most of the South region dates. I'm gonna make them dates. So, you know, right, right. you'll see me do the green crack. I got strong, you know what I mean, with Pat. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, Barry, man, I want to thank you for, for, for blessing DME TV with this gracious interview, my brother. <laughs> I wish you many success. Okay, I appreciate it, bro. And know until man. next time. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I will give a shout-out, man. Go ahead, man. I, I got to give a shout-out. I got to give a shout-out to all the artists in Carolina I fuck with. I'm going to say most of y'all names. I, I might forget some of y'all right now. I'm high. But I'm going to give a shout-out to them. <laughs> 6 9 Big Chris, Chaos, Space Invader, know what I mean? Meek Bands, I'm giving a shout out to Damn 4 Fever, I'm gonna give a shout out to Really Trail, a shout out to Damn Young Cleave, all them boys in Ville Squad, my nigga Chunk, all them young niggas out there ratchet as hell, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> For real, know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Jump Man, Focus, Damn Don Teasy. All y'all boys, man. When y'all when y'all boys out here trying to promote y'all shit, trying to put y'all shit out here to the people, come fuck with DME TV. You know what I mean? Get your shit to the street, get it to the real people, man. So they can damn hear who you really about. You know what I mean? Everybody rapping, but let's see who really damn. You know what I mean? Who really about not just trying to damn rap just to get a check and rapping just like whatever. Let's get, let's get the motherfuckers that really trying to push this shit. Help these motherfuckers, man. You know what I mean? And salute these motherfuckers, because this shit ain't dang, ain't like a piece of cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this shit a grind, like, just like anything else, this shit a hustle. Yeah. And anybody that doing it independently on their own, they're an entrepreneur, you know what I mean? And I salute right. that. You keep the mind. It's mind over matter. You ain't got to have a million, but you got to have a mind yeah. to get to the million. You know what? Right. I mean? Real shit. Right. I appreciate you, my brother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Catch me in your side. Write it down, 17. How about that, my